Hey everybody, welcome back to the Model Building Corner. I am the somewhat, sometimes talented Joe, but usually I'm screwing stuff up. Which I did today, and we'll get into that. But first, I want to start with, I got my first shop card in the mail yesterday. And it's from a very special uh, channel. Um, it is from Ed over at One Team Garage. I don't know if you guys watched, but on my uh, intro video, I had mentioned that, you know, I've been single for eight years living on my own, and I was in a rut. Um, I would try to pick up my hobbies, and just nothing interested me. Um, and so, I was doing a lot of drink, a lot of beer drinking, you know, coming home from work and sitting on the couch, watching TV and drinking beer, Not, never being able to get motivated. Well, one day I stumbled upon Ed's channel and I started watching his videos and, you know, he, he's so inspirational as far as, you know, the way he, um, you know, presents himself and the, and the, uh, his content and it motivated me, man. I just said to myself, you know what, that's it. I'm done. And, uh, and that's when I decided I'm going to start my own channel also and uh, get involved and, uh, you know, give me give myself some purpose because, you know, you're trying to do a hobby by yourself and there's nobody. Hey, look at what I did, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, there's, there's no satisfaction in it. So Ed is the guy that got me started. And it's funny. It's a coincidence that his is the first card that came in the mail. I do have a couple others coming also, but. He said some very nice, kind words on the back. And, uh, Ed, I appreciate you, buddy. And uh, you're going to be first uh, front and center on my uh, wall. And uh, I appreciate you. Oh, if you guys have not checked out his channel, I'm sure all of you have. But look him up, One Team Garage. I'm sorry, I do not know how to put links in the description yet. I'm going to figure out how to do that. But... Look up his channel. This guy is amazing. He does some cool work. So, when I got home, I decided I was going to decal the Yanko, the, the Chevelle Yanko clone. So, what I had to do was, I had to cut the triangle off of the um, uh, decal because on the Chevelle... It doesn't go into the U like that. The stripe, they just come straight up and they end at the uh, at the cowl there. So I messed that one up. I left a little bit of a... Uh, find my glasses. I'm always losing my glasses. So I left a little bit of a piece of the uh, stripe on that. So this one didn't turn out that bad. And then I tried to take this off because I realized that although, you know, they the, these uh, decals could be placed anywhere depending upon who put it on there. Um, every picture I've seen of the Chevelle, it's up a little bit higher so that the stripes actually meet that. So, screwed that up. And then I went ahead and I started to put the uh, decal on the side. And I tried to take it off, but it was already set, so... I'm going to have to sand the car. Somehow I got a, uh, a chip there. And uh, when I put this decal in the water to soften it, it broke apart into like four pieces or three pieces on this side. And then that side broke up into like five pieces. So I tried to take it off, but it, it's too set on there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wet sand the car down a little bit, hit it with another coat of paint. And start over. So luckily I do have another set. Uh, this one's from the Nova. The uh, set that I tried to use is what's left over from the Camaro. Because I had put the uh, white stripes on the Camaro. And the white stripes were fine. But these, as soon as they hit the water, they broke apart. So um, so I've got these. These are a little bit thicker. They're not, they're not as narrow as those. I actually like those better. Um, especially since that stripe has to go in between the door handle and door lock. This one might be a little bit bulkier, but I'm not going to worry about it. So, that's where I'm at on that. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to go over with you guys is yesterday I ended up getting off of work early. The PTO in my work truck stopped PTOing. And I couldn't raise the bed to dump the load of sand I had in there. So I ended up having to leave early while the mechanics uh, fixed it. So instead of coming home and building, I went shopping. So I stopped at Hobby Lobby. I guess they forgot to take down the 40% off because the lady was trying to charge me full price. And I told her the signs are up. And so because the signs were still up, they had to give me the 40% off. So I picked this up because I really like this kit. I seen. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it like the Grabber Blue. I've seen some got some of you guys that who have built this. Uh, it really comes out nice. I like it. So that's that. What else did I buy? Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Then I went ahead and I got the '68 Charger. Um, I've built this car years ago, so I may. I might still do another stock one, or I might do it as the uh, as the street custom, or whatever whatever it's called. Um, but I haven't decided on that yet. So that was another kit that I picked up for forty percent off. And then I don't know if you guys remember, but in my uh, Ollie's haul, excuse me, I I had picked this up and. I was thinking about doing a police car, or I was thinking about doing just doing it as a stock car, but then it's like, wow, well, it's a four-door. So I decided to go police car on this. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I was looking this kit over. And this is the 69 Charger. And I was like, all of a sudden, I'm on a Dukes of Hazard kick. Don't ask me why. I watched the uh, prequel to Johnny Knoxville's movie, the, uh, the Dukes of Hazard, the beginning. Uh, you know, tortured myself through that, and then I ended up going and renting season one of the series. So, for whatever reason, I'm in the Dukes of Hazard kit uh, kick. I never built the Dukes of Hazard car when these ki when the Dukes of Hazard uh, kits were out. So, I started thinking. I started thinking, no, that's going to be too much trouble because then I have to try to find that push bar and I got to try to find the correct wheels. So when I started looking this kit over, I realized, well, wait a minute. It has the Dukes of Hazard wheels. And it's also, it has the push, the brush bar. So, I mean, you guys know the history of these kits. You know, I, I just buy them and build them. So I'm assuming that this once was the Dukes of Hazard kit. And they just changed it up because even the decals um, for it. Uh, let me open this up real quick. I went through this because I was curious. Um, even the decals, you can tell, were Dukes of Hazard. You know, instead of General Lee, they got General Grant and uh, Patton, General Washington. So it looks like they eliminated the Confederate flags and put some other generals on there. So. I went ahead and I called Slick's decals. I thought they were out of business. Uh, I know they, they stopped doing the NASCAR. Um, but I got bad information. Somebody told me that they were out of business. But they're open and waiting for business. So <clears throat> I called them. They did have the Dukes of Hazard decal sheet in stock. So that's on the way. They unfortunately didn't have Sheriff Roscoe Bico Train's uh, uh, decal sheet. So I'll have to search around for that some more. So, I mean, these will be eventually down the road builds. Um, but you know what they did have? They had, and they're in the mail. They had, again, I don't know if you guys remember, you know, I was talking about, you know, wouldn't it be cool if they had, um, see, like I put the Delco uh, decal on there. Um, the fan shroud decals, the oil filter decals. I was like, you know, the kits, they should include that. Because that kind of details is cool. But, uh, Slicks has sheets full of, um, batteries, battery names, oil filter names, the caution, um, decals for the, uh, for the fan shroud and everything. So I've got... 
uh, three different sheets of uh, under the hood and stuff like that coming. So I'm excited for that to get here so I can see what that's going to look like. So uh, it's a short one. Obviously, I didn't get any building done. I wanted to get these decals done. So um, other than that, I did get some of the decals. I got the motor decal on there. I got the uh, um, the call out for the uh, um, air filter cover. And so, I'll just leave it at that, fellas. Everybody, I hope you have a great evening. Anybody that still wants a shop card, email me, and uh, I'll get them out to you. I've got uh, four have gone out yesterday, and I got one I have to write up tonight and uh, get it in the mail. So, uh, appreciate everybody. Um, uh, you know, the channel, the, the what this channel is doing for me is amazing, and... Uh, I mean, I look forward to it every single day to see what kind of comments you guys left me and, you know, stuff like that. So I appreciate everybody. So I'll end it with that. You guys have a good evening.